So lovely to see you, Kiara. I mean, the last met was just days before the lockdown was announced, yeah. and now we are meeting here. I'm sure everything is going to open up. I think we'll just break that, you know. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers, fingers crossed. It's so absolutely. lovely to see you, even though it's virtual, Actually. but always good to see you. Likewise, and every time I see you, I'm very happy because I remember your first film I interviewed you, and I have you know been part of your journey. So yeah. happy! I mean, I get excited seeing you doing the kind of roles that you are. You yeah, know, so true. yeah, that's true. Yeah, you've been a yeah, that is true. You've been, <laughs> seen it all. <laughs> seen it all, and well, it's a journey you need to be proud of. So playing Dimple Chima, as you know, rightly said, she is the unsung hero, and she's also a woman who. has made the ultimate sacrifice in her own way too what was it like for you did you interact with her and when this came to you on paper what were your initial reactions so when i read when i was narrating the script i was besotted i was like i just wanted to <laughs> there were had so many questions but my first question to my director was did this actually happen or have you taken some creative liberty with this and is this is this really you know what this the you know because everything else was completely i was aware of it i knew about the kargil boy i knew a little bit about captain vikram batra but not so much about his personal life and that mm-hmm. intrigued me it intrigued me a lot and he my director vishnu sir told me that do you know she's um, she's chosen to be unmarried even though um, you know it's been so many years and i was like so all of this is for real like this is actually what happened and something sounded so filmy and so you know the gestures were so flamboyant and charming and i was like did he really do these things whether it was cutting his thumb and filling her mouth with his blood and you know the promises that they made to each other and then i met with dimple and i feel that was so special for me because this happened fortunately i met her before shooting the film um which really helps as an actor. so when you're playing a real life person to you know to connect and get those nuances right but when i met with her she spoke so fondly and she spoke with so much happiness in her eyes um remembering her relationship as though it had all just happened yesterday and everything that all the all the the moments that she was mentioning and the stories that she was telling me i was like oh yeah that's that scene and oh yeah this is that scene in the film and i was like oh my god wow they have researched and met with her and met with you know other key members and people who are who been an integral part of his life and incorporated it all so well in the screenplay and the story that everything is so authentic but um it's it's also very emotional to portray somebody who's you know a partner of an army officer because i feel we ne- i was recently watching something and um that really stayed with me when and even when i spoke with dimple there were few things she told me and there were a few moments in our conversation which which impacted me which made me think that when do we really think about the family or the you know the loved ones at the time when we've read some bad news that's come you know from a news channel that unfortunately so and so has succumbed and captain so and so and that is when your heart goes out to the family and you feel for them but these women and these people and these loved ones they go through the, those feelings every time they in this case like every time captain vikram batra was called to duty her heart was in her mouth and she was probably dying a hundred deaths every time he went not knowing when he's going to come back not knowing if it's the last goodbye and nothing trains you for that emotional turmoil you never know so it really stayed with me that the sacrifices that the family makes the support that you know that they give back home um i salute them for that i feel like they truly are the unsung heroes and through the film i think through dimple we've gotten to see that and we've gotten to see that emotion um uh you know when because at the end of the day they are human beings who go out there and their first love is for the country but then they have a family and they some have children some you know so there's so much there's so much that um there is sacrificed in all of this that that i think as civilians we are truly grateful to Absolutely. them and their families for sure. their sacrifice and their bravery for our nation true 
So this is exactly what your fans did ask me about what you just said. Actually, I asked that. Antra asked that after you spoke to Dimple, was there any similarity you saw between the two of you? Because Dimple now is really, I mean, 24 years old. She was then, you know. I mean, that's probably how old you are now. You know, closer to that age. Any similarity you found between the two of you as women? Well, firstly, I think she's a very strong woman. Um, and that is very inspiring to see someone making her own choices and standing by them you know fighting all odds but the one thing that um, made me relate to her instantly was when she spoke about and i asked her i said did you you never you know you never moved on after it's been so many years and she said um, no i chose with a lot of happiness and highs and a lot of pride she said not at all i chose to you know i i truly believe he's around and i believe that we will meet one day and i she chose to be unmarried um because she chose love beyond the lifetime and for me i am someone who who always always believes that the only reason like i always feel married for the right reasons and my right reasons are mar- are love and i feel that if your foundation is built on love then no matter what the hurdles and conflicts are you'll overcome it and that was her reason for remaining unmarried as well so i just felt like um you know kudos to a woman who's who's so strong to to lead a life like that and to um and uh, and also to to share with us such a personal uh, um you know part of her life uh, because of the love that she had because she is an in- inherently a very shy person she never wanted to be in the limelight she never wanted all of that attention but for captain vikram batra knowing that you know this film is being made and what an integral part of it um, of that story is to even show and even have people know the man that he was you know the charmer that he was and you know this young 24 year old with dreams in his eyes and she knew how important that was and she was very kind to come and share it with us and Absolutely. um you know even speak with me and i i i feel like we all of our, all of us have have tried to be as honest and as true to their story and we're just waiting for them to watch it now and also like uh, sumit has asked is like uh, you know working with sid you know we can see the chemistry because i think it's also because your friends in real life that becomes easy for you as an actor when you know you get along well with somebody off camera so when on camera whatever parts you're uh, working does it become easier for you as an actor is that important for you i feel honestly i feel as an actor it's very important to to have that good energy and camaraderie with everyone mm-hmm. we work with because we do dedicate such an important time of our lives together um making something which and create something that once it's ek baar chhap gaya to chhap gaya so you're kind of like, right. you know you want people to feel that and that's how i really looked at my entire career whoever i've worked with i've always had a good rapport with them and no difference with sid um and i and i'm i think we're both quite overwhelmed with you know the response to the song and everything people are seeing uh but all of it was in the writing all of it was in in the moments that were you know that were true to their story and that's you know said kiara is a hashtag that's a trending hashtag or you know hollywood right. is known for its jodi so you will become one of those jodi you know and that's great if we're able to become that jodi and then thanks to the audience for that uh but yeah i feel i feel like if that works then then we're on the right road at least because Absolutely. that is a very important integral part in the film as well totally yeah. also you know tushar has also asked us even like when you're playing a fictional character you as an actor can put in your elements maybe yeah. she thought like that when you put a real character you cannot digress you have to be true were there like anything you observed her how she dressed up how she spoke mannerisms yes we did i think we tried to um so when we were keeping it authentic we felt like you know recreating the 90s again the hairstyle the clothes also she's a sikh girl and you know back at home we used a lot of punjabi like pure punjabi dialogues while speaking to her father and even between them certain scenes so we kept all those factors in place um but everything else was i i do feel there was the besides the emotional aspect of it and investing so much emotionally everything else we had kind of cushioned on on paper um because the story is so beautiful so it it's a true story and we we are only depicting what really happened um true. so yeah 
Also, uh, Kiara, lovely birthday gift. Looking forward to RC uh, 15. And uh, the most uh, wanted poster girl and actor now. What is it you miss about normal life and what can you tell me about RC 15? I can tell you that I'm very, very excited to be a part of RC 15 and to be working with Shankar sir doing my first trilingual film, going back to the Telugu industry after a while and coming back together with uh, Ram Charan. So a lot of excitement. Uh, it's a special one and uh, I look forward to it. That's all I can say for now. Um, and what is the next question? I forgot. I was like, what is it you miss about normal life? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I have to say Advani that. trends. Trend, I, have to see, I have to say the mask has really helped me go back to normal. See, I've been wearing the mask and getting away uh, on most occasions. So uh, that's one good thing that the mask has done, apart from keeping us safe. No, but normal life, do you miss something, Kiara? Because you step out, yeah. anything that you do, you are a headline. Do you sometimes miss the anonymity? Oh... <laughs> I feel like my, see my friend circle and all of them, everyone's still normal. So, I mean, they're still not from this industry. Everyone's normal only, but I feel they're not from this industry. So that surely does make me feel a sense of normality when I come back home. Um, so I don't feel like I'm missing out. But I think there are lots of perks of not having it as well. So I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm very grateful for the, the you know, everything that comes along with this job. There's pros and cons both. Um, but like when I want that little bit of, you know, I hope no one recognized me. The mask really does the trick. No, thank you so much. Jate, jate, ek last aap se yehi puchna hai. From seven, you know, seven years. It's been interesting. You strived. You persevered. And now when you have people knocking down, literally breaking down your doors, when you look back, what's that one thing you wish you could have told the girl who started in Fugly? Or what is it you feel that you did right? that it's all going to work out because I think those few days after the film had released and I was feeling very low not knowing where my life is going to go after that um I think in those moments uh I wish I could tell myself that it's all going to work out and even today I think when those lows come I remember the highs and when the highs come I remember the lows so that's how I keep myself balanced and that's the way to be that's what I tell my whole self. That's what I tell everybody else who's, you know, who's also anxious about where their life's going to go. It's all going to work out. Just make it happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. As I would say, jug jug jio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you. Bye.